In this video I'm going to address a couple of quick concerns that some people have about okay I'm using R and I want to be able to bring results from R into Excel so I can format them and I want to bring some of the graphs into Word so that I can put them in a document. So let me show you a couple of quick tricks here. Now, of course, if you're using R and you want to see what you have that you've done in R, LS, open, close parentheses, with nothing in there, will show you a list of the data sets and the regressions that you have already done in your um, R session here. And so we have some things that I named .reg1 to remind me that that's a regression. And then other things uh, might be data sets, could be functions. Really, when you create things in R, you need to come up with a, a naming system so that you can keep track of which things are data sets, which things are regressions, which things are functions that you've defined. But if you have a good memory, you can, you can do it the way that I've done it. Now, one question is, suppose I have a regression like this thing that I've called apartment.reg3. I know that is a regression with apartment data and it's the third regression that I ran. So we can do a summary of it, S. Now again if you haven't watched my videos I've already defined a shortcut called S equals summary so let me just do that. So you don't have to type the whole word summary all the time and then you can do S apartment dot reg 3 and that gives us the output of this regression. Now if you want to bring this into a table normally what you want to bring into a table is is these coefficients. Well, let's copy the whole thing here highlight and control C in Windows and then I'm going to bring over my um, Excel control V to paste. Now the main thing we're interested in doing here is splitting up these um, into different columns. So to do that, highlight just these column A parts because if you look up, up here, all this text, estimate, standard error, etc. Is, is all in column A. Highlight that and then in um, Office 2007 go to data I know that's hard to see in this window but go to click on data and then text to columns right here and that brings up a bunch of options and there are a lot of options for different situations but when you have this data in R like this what I have often found 99 percent of the time is if you just click finish it will do it automatically for you what you need to happen and so what it's done is split the estimate the standard error t's and p-values into separate columns which is exactly what you want to happen and then you can format this table a little bit more nicely and you know down here below you've got the standard errors and the F test and things like that what you really want to do is, is split those uh, variable names and the estimates into different columns. Now, while I'm teaching you a couple of tricks here, let me also show you another one that I'm commonly asked about. When you're running a regression in R, one of the diagnostic tests, one of the diagnostic procedures that you want to do is to do a plot of the regression. And so plot and then the name of the regression, in this case apt.reg3. And what that's going to do is bring up four diagnostic plots for the regression. So let me hit enter. And the first plot here, let me resize it so it's in the window so we can all see what's going on. This is the residuals versus fitted plot and I've covered what that means uh, if you hit enter. Uh, I've covered what the normal QQ plot means. Basically, in another video, this tells you whether your residuals look like they come from a normal distribution, scale location. This is your main plot for looking at heteroscedasticity. And the residuals versus leverage is seeing if you have any observations that are 
extreme outliers that are affecting your your resid your uh, regression and here I have one uh, that's an extreme outlier in this regression number 45 but what I want to cover here is okay well that's all nice but how can I get all those plots into a paper that I want to write that's what I really want to do so let me show you that real quick here so I just close that plot window let me come down here easiest way to bring all four plots into now you can copy them one at a time but that's kind of tedious if you want to bring all four plots into a, a paper that you're writing as one grid of plots and this works for any four plots or any number of plots you'd want to do type this command par par accesses very high, um, deep level uh, graphics parameters in R some of the some of the real cool tricks you can do you can get through this par command so do par open parentheses M F R O W equals C two comma two close parentheses close parentheses let me explain what this is going to do par accesses these deep powerful plotting commands MF row means make a frame MF make a frame with two rows and two columns two comma two now when we hit enter it's going to create a blank plot window with two rows and two columns here it is blank plot window there's nothing there now as we make plots you can actually do this with histograms um, scatter plots any kind of plot if we were to make plots now it's going to populate this window that we see right here with one plot in the upper left one in the upper right one in the bottom left and one in the bottom right and we're going to have two rows and two columns of plots now of course you can change this 2 2 to 3 2 2 3 etc if you want to make a group of plots the reason I'm doing 2 2 is remember when you plot a regression there are four plots so let's click over here and now I'm gonna hit the up arrow twice to access this plot regression command again and what's gonna happen is that plot regression gives us four plots I'm gonna hit enter and now I've got to go bring up that plot window that's behind here and this window that was behind my R window shows me a two by two plot and all those are those four regression plots I mean now what we can do is once this plot is active we can just hit control C and then I'm going to bring in my Microsoft Word blank document here and then I can hit control V for paste and you see what it's going to do is it's going to paste that block of four diagnostic regression plots and once it's in Word we can resize them any way we want we can add a caption for example we could right, right click on that plot and say insert caption and this says figure one by default we can say figure one diagnostic plots right and then hit OK and now we've got a nice little figure for a paper using regressions so hopefully these will be helpful for you and good luck